Okay. Conversion and coordinate planes. Two separate topics, but coordinate planes should be easy. I think you guys are really good at that. Put your name. First things first. Conversions is like if I said I had 100 pounds, uh, but I told you um, every pound, one pound equals, or put waving lines, that means approximately equals. Oh my gosh, that's the worst. It's because I meant to put one. I didn't know if that was an L or one. LB is how you abbreviate pounds in Latin, Spanish, and French. It's like Libra. Okay. Approximately equals, and I'm just making this up because I have no idea. Um, 20 ounces. I have no idea. Okay. Okay. So here's how you do conversion. I'm going to, the 100 pounds is what I want to change. I want to multiply it by this conversion rate. So am I going to put 1 over 20 like it gave me? That's what it said, 1 and then 20. So I put 1 on top, 20 on the bottom. No, you label them. I labeled this pounds. So because I want to get rid of pounds, pounds has to be on the bottom. The pounds is with the 1. 1 pound has to be on the bottom. So then the 20 ounces is on the top. So now when I multiply... I have 100 pounds over 1, whole number into a fraction. I have pounds on the top, pounds on the bottom. They cancel out. So now I'm all, all I'm going to be left with is ounces. So I'm going to do 20 times 100. It's going to be 2,000 ounces. Okay? So that's how you convert. You take the, the rate they give you, and you can write that first. If they've given you a rate, make it into a fraction. Then take the number they've given you. And if it, if it matches the top one, put it on opposite because you I can't put the 100 pounds on the, I'm going to have to put it on the bottom. How do I put 100 pounds on the bottom? Okay. Um, hmm, no, that doesn't work. You would have to flip it. That does not work. You have, since the 100 pounds, so I would always write the thing they give you first. Write the thing they give you first, because you're going to have to remember to flip it, and you're going to technically get the wrong answer, so don't. If they give you 100 pounds, write it first. If they give you 13-something, write it first. Then flip the conversion ratio. All right, let's look at convert uh, coordinate plane. Okay, um, they have things called quadrants. Okay, it's called a coordinate plane. We are taught when we make the letter C to start at the top and go around. Okay, so where you start is quadrant one. This is not quartile one and quartile two like we do with our mean, median, mode uh, box plots. Okay, quadrant one, quadrant two. Quadrant three, you follow the letter C, okay, and quadrant four, okay? Um, which axis is which, okay? The first number line we ever learned to do was going left or right. That's what you learned first. So this is the first one you when you place a number or points. So that's X. It comes first alphabetically. Y is second. It goes up and down. You, most of you did not learn to go up and down number line or uh, coordinate plane until last year or this year. First, you learned this number line okay so when they give you points or ordered pairs or coordinates they could be called all three of those coordinates ordered pair or points they always give you the x first then the y so if i said one comma seven you start at the origin the middle of the universe, the middle of the quadrant coordinate plane universe. Okay, so you start at zero, zero. That's zero, zero. You go on the X line first, left or right. Well, it's positive, so we're going to go to the right one. And then it's positive seven, so positive is up, not down. So maybe it's up here, okay? So that'll be point A. Point B, let's go negative three comma five, okay? So I'm at zero on the X line, left or right. Negative is going to go be to the left. One, two, three. Let's sit right here. And then I'm only going up five. 
So that's B, okay? Let's say C is negative, negative, negative 7, negative 3, okay? So this was negative 3, maybe negative 6. Negative 7 is going to be all the way over here. And then only down 3, somewhere over here, okay? And then for point D will be a positive and then a negative. Let's go 5, negative 5, okay? So I'm going to go from 0, 0, I'm going to go 5 positive first. Let's say it's about right here. Then I'm going to go down 5. Okay, so if I made a shape and it said, what shape did you make? It's got one side, two side, three side, four sides. It's a quadrilateral. It's not a trapezoid. It's not a triangle. It's almost a triangle, but this is not technically a straight line. Kind of looks like it, but it's not. So it's four sided quadrilateral. Um, they did a lot of different things with this. They could give you um, a square or a rectangle and say, what's the area of it? Well, you would just say, well, it's this long, this wide. So you would count the boxes, okay? Or they could say, how far is points? They're all in different planes. Um, let's make a point E that is negative 7, negative 5, okay? So it's all the way over to negative 7, but instead of being here, it's going down to negative 5. So it's straight across from this one. And they say, how far is it from C to D? Line C to D equals how far? All right. Or no, not C. This would be E. Sorry. That's point E. Well, um, this was negative 7 this way. And then it was 5 this way. Okay. So I want to add those together. You don't go 5 minus 7. We're going to have to do the absolute value. We're talking about distance. So if you go from this point to the zero number line, it's going to be 7 spaces. And then you're going another 5 spaces. So it's a grand total distance of 12. Okay, distance is always positive. All right, that's pretty much everything you're going to have to do with coordinate plane. Pretty sure.